Welcome back guys to another bomb build. I'm on my stump sock this time with the exact same setup like on my stem DK. Just one change instead of the greatsword. I use a molly of extra penetration in sharpened since we don't have corrosive armor on a stamina sorcerer. Instead of that, exactly the same clever alchemist on the back bar. Mala cut. And of course, plague break. In combination with one magma incarnate. In group fights you can even use Krax, Scoria or Barlock here for extra damage or penetration. I'm still with 4 Impen, 2 Sturdy and 1 well fitted, 4 heavy pieces and 3 medium armor pieces, full infused weapon damage on the jewelry, sharpened berserker here and backbar powered, sturdy, with the escapist poisons. Alternative, instead of clever, you can use powerful assault or a sense thief, but you definitely need the master 2H here. Perfect would be a maul for extra penetration, but a greatsword is fine too. Skills, pretty basic, camouflage hunter for minor berserk and slayer. The extra 3% weapon damage, thanks to the fighter skill tier. Then bound armaments, that's my flex spot. I use it for max stamina, 8% more. And for the sustain, it gives 20% stam and health recovery, pretty nice. But you can also go with, for example, flare here for major protection if you want. Then Brawler, our spammable, Calf is also fine in group, Streak for AoE stun, Rally our burst heal, Downback of Smiting is ultimate, Back by Caltrips, Race Against Time, Vigor, Hurricane and Dark Deal, Defensive Ultimate, Spare Wall. Race I'm still Orc, for extra weapon damage, health and stamina. A Nord and Imperial or Danmo are fine too. Wundus the Serpent, since I play a lot of Battlegrounds, which is non CP, I definitely need to sustain you. In Goop, you can probably use the Lava or the Warrior Mundus. Lava Food Soup is buff food, Arteum Food is also fine. 30 points in health and 34 points in stamina. Potions, I only use the Tricep Potions. CPs, Nothing special, Biting Armor for more UE damage, Master at Arms for more direct damage, do the speed buff against single target and Iron Clad against direct damage. Red CP sustained by Suffering, Pain's Refuge, Celebrity and Slippery, nothing special here. You can put Slippery out for, for example, Bastion, which increases our damage by 15% against shielded targets but I recommend to use it only in the group. The combination is pretty simple. Keep up your buffs like always. Hurricane your resistance buff. Rally for major brutality. Then start with caltrops. But try to apply plague break before you even start this combination. With light attacks, heavy attacks, streak even. Or just brawler. Like this here. And then you start a combination of Caltrops into Dawnbreaker, into Brawler Spam. That's all. It's pretty simple. The main issue about this setup is you have to stack them properly, like this here. That's the main issue for, in general, bomb builds. You have to kite a lot and you need to find the perfect momentum, the perfect timing when you do this combination. That's 
probably the hardest part. The active part, bomb part, is pretty easy. Now with some decent bombs, before the video starts, like always, sub my channel, leave a like and a comment below, I would really appreciate it. Enjoy guys! That's it with another stamina bomb build. Next one will be probably a stamina. Warden, my main class, stay tuned for that and for many many other PvP and maybe PvE builds, not sure yet. Thanks for watching, have a nice day and I'll see you hopefully in the next video, ciao!